Hi there. Welcome to our series on Standard English. We need to understand that spoken and written English are two different things. There are a lot of things which we can say in a different manner when we speak, but would be totally different when we write. Example, we may look at a person and ask, You all right? But when we write, we can only write it as, Are you all right? Today, we would be looking at a topic called as double negatives. What are negative words? A word that means the opposite of what it is supposed to mean is a negative word. Example, he's going to the market. We haven't used any negative words here. However, he is not going to the market is a negative sentence as we have used the negative word not. The doctor wants you to take those medicines is a positive sentence. However, we can make this into negative sentences in this following way. The doctor does not want you to take those medicines or the doctor wants you to stop taking those medicines. We can broadly classify negative words into three. One, the words which mean no. These words are none, no, neither, nowhere, nobody, nothing, not, no one, nor, etc. Example, nobody wants to write the test today can neither confirm nor deny the facts. 2. The words which indicate limits. Some of these words are barely, hardly, never, rarely, scarcely, etc. Example, he can barely eat as he is unwell. Rob was never a part of the team. 3. The words which are contractions of words. Example, can't, couldn't, didn't, doesn't, isn't, wasn't, won't aren't, weren't etc. Some examples are, they weren't allowed to play today as they were ill. Martha can't sing as she has a cold. There are some prefixes which turn words into negatives. Example, honest and dishonest, happy and unhappy, proper and improper, appropriate and inappropriate, stop and non-stop. What are double negatives? A sentence that uses two negative words. This generates a positive meaning for the sentence. Example, I am not going to do nothing. By using two negative words, this sentence means I am going to do everything. Christy doesn't want no ice cream. By using two negative words, this sentence means Christy wants ice cream. How can we stop making such errors? Try not to use double negatives in sentences. This has to be a conscious effort on our part. If we see a double negative sentence, we correct them. How do we do that? By modifying the sentence a bit, this can be done by removing or replacing one of the negatives in a double negative sentence. Here are some examples. Josh is not a good man. He isn't dishonest. How can we change that? Josh is not a good man. He is dishonest. Or, Josh is not a good man. He isn't honest. He isn't going nowhere. We can correct in the following manner. He isn't going anywhere. Or, he's going nowhere. She is not interested in that no more. We can correct this by saying, she is not interested in that anymore, or she is interested in that no more. A sentence can have more than two negative words to make it a double or multiple negative sentence. Here is something interesting. Depending on the number of double negative words, we may be able to make those many proper sentences. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video and give it a try. 1. He hadn't barely set foot in the house, the alarm sounded. 2. I had told him that I do not want no trouble no more. 3. Mr. Smith wouldn't even hardly go anywhere. Once you have written your answers, press play. Here are the answers. 
Hope you got them right. We also hope that you have a good understanding of double negatives now. For more support on your grammar, please head to our grammar playlist link towards the end of the video. We would greatly appreciate if you could encourage us with your comments and subscribe to us. Please share our channel with your friends and family. We will be back soon with another video to help you. Until then, adios.